Joining me today is Ali Hediati, President and COO at Coradiant. Today we'll be discussing steps that online retailers can take to prepare their websites for an influx of visitors on Cyber Monday. Ali, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tom. Glad to be here. So, with Cyber Monday approaching, what are some steps that online retailers can take to handle the increased traffic volume and keep their sites operational? I would look at Cyber Monday and compare it with Black Friday for retailers. If you look at those two days, basically, the retailers expect high volume and high traffic. In the first case, which is the Black Friday, the retailers take a lot of steps in order to be ready for that day and their customers and the flow of the traffic which comes through their stores. So they may add more staff. They may uh, make sure that they have the cash registers or all the infrastructure needed in order to be ready. The key point when they get there and they are ready to be able to handle any issues which come up. All those items on Black Friday are easier to take care of because you have visibility on that day to your clients and the traffic flow and the incidences which happen. For example, you have visibility into slow lines if a cash register goes down, so you can add another one. If we look at Cyber Monday, basically it is exactly the same thing with three fundamental differences. Your storefront is your website, and the operations of your website, which is your storefront, is actually your uh, IT. And with the third very big fundamental difference that you don't have visibility real time into your customers and the clients coming to your storefront and your storefront being the website. So there are really three elements which are needed, very similar to Black Friday, in order to be ready for Cyber Monday. You have to be ready to have real-time visibility into your customers coming in. That is a key element. If you have that visibility, then the second step will be ready to react quickly when for a site slowdown or potentially a blackout. Number three, is now you have real-time visibility into your customers, you can react quickly. The third one is can you identify the problem real-time in order to prevent slowdowns or actually worse on a Cyber Monday would be a shutdown of your website because of high volume which will basically shut your stores down. If you look at end user experience management solutions and capabilities which are real time and they are designed and defined with the customer in mind, you can accomplish all those three items with very good visibility and incident management and have the best outcome and ROI. Okay, great. That's good advice. Thanks. So as a growing number of customers continue to flock to online shopping, particularly during the holidays, what are some recommendations you'd offer to retailers to ensure that they're providing consumers with great experiences? That's a great question, and it goes back actually to the concept, again, looking at your website as your storefront. When you look at your storefront, you want your customers to be satisfied with the experience they come in, they can find the items quickly, they can check out quickly, and there are no frustrations, and you can see that. If you look on Cyber Monday and your website, if you say, I have to have the same kind of experience, experienced by my uh, consumers and customers, that would be the key thing, which is, okay, somebody gets on your website, how long does it take to load that page? That response time is very important. How long does it take for the customer to find the item they want? The third one is, okay, I found the item. How long does it take and how much of an experience I have checking out and paying for that item? Because any of those three elements, if they are slowed down from a performance perspective, basically your client can go to another website, which is another store, or they cannot find the items because it's very slow and it takes them too long, or when they're trying to check out, something goes wrong or it's so slow that they just get frustrated and they log out and they go to another store. Again, when you look at the end user experience uh, management capabilities, which are real time, they give e-commerce operators the ability to actually see all this and manage it effectively so their clients and customers have the best experience, online shopping experience, and in return, increase your revenue. 
So how can retailers use end-user monitoring and management tools to help satisfy their expectations as well as the expectations of consumers? This kind of capability, the end-user monitoring and management capabilities which are real-time, they give the retailers real-time visibility into their customer base. And when you look at that, that means you basically see your customers coming in, going out, and how they're experiencing. And at the end of the day, when you get the customer which is satisfied, you retain them, they buy more, and you can deploy these tools very easily. There are really two key elements in this kind of capability. They have to be very simple to deploy and use. And the second thing, they need to give you the real-time visibility. So using the end experience management capabilities, which are real-time and passive, that means they're non-intrusive to your IT operations, enable you to deploy them at any time, even during high traffic times during the holiday season if you experience problems and be ready and manage the website very effectively from a performance. If you look at performance at the end of the day, performance of your clients and your website translates into dollars and revenue. The more clients come in and go out and the faster transactions, the more revenue is generated and that's how the solution works. Well, Ali, thanks so much for sharing your insights with us about preparations for Cyber Monday. Thank you very much, Tom.